right, welcome back. So we're gonna go down to the end, down here, where I normally launch cars. We're gonna measure out 132 feet. I have the Sky RC on board, and we're gonna see how fast this thing is in 132 feet. So if I kinda know where I'm supposed to let off, then uh, the GPS will take over from there. So we're going to walk down here. I'll have my son measure it off. And then we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it does in 132 feet. And try not to hit all the pizza cars that are coming and all the food deliveries that are going to be happening right now. So the lights are still hooked up. I didn't top off the battery. I just didn't think there was a need to top it off, but it did cool down. So we'll take this thing from here and walk down 132 feet. Here. So when the black numbers get to 132, not the white number. So the Sky RC is started, or not started, so I'm gonna go to drag. You see where it says stop zero, and then I have 132 feet is where it's where it's uh, gonna stop recording at. So right now it's on ready. So right now it's testing. And I we should have plenty of room here. All right, that's fine. So it looks like where I thought it was at the fire hydrant. So, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm gonna check now. So we're gonna go that car stop there again. Right. Here we go. Thing spun out again and then took off in reverse. So we'll see what that time was. You can walk back. I should have turned down the steering. So we're going to hit read. So 3.210, 43 miles an hour, max speed. So I'll take a picture of that. We'll go back. We'll go back to drag. We'll get out of the road because all these pizza delivery people are coming. Try to get it in the center this time. Hit ready. It's testing. Hopefully I don't hit all those kids that are coming. All right. Now we got a person walking in the middle of the street. And a bunch of people off to the left.
so not getting the temperature of the road is pretty cold right now not getting very good traction but this will give me a base of uh, what I need to do with the gearing so we're gonna hit so 3.4 at 43 miles an hour and you can see we were on the uphill the whole time so I don't know if it's gonna get much better than that we'll try again gonna go to drag hit ready testing try to take it easier out of the hole this time try to squeeze the trigger turn the steering down so that was a slow pull of the trigger instead of nailing it it seemed to take off better. I might have let off a little early and I turned the steering down. So go ahead and hit read. So 3.310, still 42 miles an hour. So it seems like the top speed is going to be 42 miles an hour. So from here, we're going to play with shocks, play with gearing, and play with suspension. So that'll give me some sort of baseline to go off of. So there we go, guys. Drag. Ready. It's testing. Oh, I have the steering way down now. Pizza delivery people again. More people coming. So hopefully I don't hit those kids down there. So there we go, another slow pull. Gonna hit read. So 44 miles an hour, 3.20. So all I gotta do is play with traction. Um, I could probably get that to a 3.1. Uh, but still not quick enough, but really good out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Sky RC to save battery. And we are going to go get my slash. Oh, I got to turn up the steering. You got the stick? Okay, we'll put it back in the house. So not too bad, right out of the box, guys. Basically, all I've done for tuning is pull one clip out of the right rear. You guys saw me pull two, and I put one back in because it was kicking left. So still no shock oils, still no gearing. Um, the only tuning I've done is pull out one of the the spacers for spring tension and that's it so i think uh 
I really think this platform from Losi is awesome. Um, it's just fast enough to have fun. So right out of the box, you can buy a couple of them. You can have a blast and you're not gonna crash it. Now the braking is um, a little too strong because it spins out when I brake. But other than that, everything else seems to be okay. So we're gonna do a little tuning. We're gonna get it back out and see how much it's corrected. There we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. All right, just for reference on the battery I'm using, it's a 5100 7.6 volt. The power of champions. It's a red line battery. It is 130 C, um, Jen's Ace, little race pack. These are what I use for my drag cars. Now you can get a lower ma, but I found that I do so many hits that I don't have to charge this in between rounds. And I only charge it to 7.4 uh, because my charger doesn't do 7.6 and I balance charge this thing. Now on these batteries, you have to wire up your own balance port. So they don't give you the wires or the connector. So basically you're gonna do, out of a three wire connector, you're gonna do positive, ground, and then your second cell is gonna go right in there. And that'll be a 2S pack. So, and that's how you do these little race packs. Now I wish they would give you the little port and the wires to do soldering to balance port these. But I uh, showed this before, and here's my balance lead. Now I keep the center wire off because of the strap goes over it in my slash. But here I'll just pull it out so you guys can see. And these wires do come out. So basically you do power, ground, and then your other which is normally the center of your three wire balance lead. This one will go right down there in the center of the pack. So there you go guys. These are the Gen's Ace packs, the little race packs that I use for my drag cars. Definitely helps having the 130C. Um, and uh, motor is still ice cold, so it's not even working. So we should be able to gear that up and get it close to 60 miles an hour in the 132 foot. So there we go, guys. Just a little update.